This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Herodimos. Today we're going to take a look at how to multiply fractions. So let's get started. So let's say we have, uh, as our first example, 3 fifths, and we're going to multiply it times 25 30 sixths. So if we're going to multiply these two fractions, uh, the first thing we should do is see if we could reduce uh, fractions and, and the way we do that is we take a numerator and we take a denominator and we see if we could divide something uh, in common, see if there's some factor that's uh, in common. Like for instance, I noticed that 25 and 5, one in the numerator, one in the denominator, I could divide both of those by 5. So I could divide that by 5 and I could divide that by 5. So when I divide uh, the top number, divide 25 by 5, I get 5. When I get 5, divide that by 5, I get 1. Okay, so next step. Let's see if I can find another common factor. And it turns out that, yep, here's another common factor with a numerator-denominator combo. And I could divide those both of those numbers by 3. So I could divide that number by 3. I could divide that number by 3. So let's see, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 36 divided by 3 is 12. All right, now let's see if these have something in common. Nope, they do not. So when I'm done reducing, and it looks like I'm done, there's no other reducing I could do with the numerator-denominator combo, uh, I now multiply straight across. So 1 times 5 is 5, and then 1 times 12 is 12. And there you go. There's the final answer. All right, let's take a look at another problem. And for our next problem, I'm going to make this one quite more difficult. Actually, I'm going to put it over here. I'm probably going to need the room. So uh, let's try 12, 36, oh, I'm sorry, 60 thirds. And let's multiply it by 21, 40 eighths. Okay, so let's say we have this one. And this one's going to be uh, harder because the numbers are larger. There's probably going to be a lot of reducing that uh, we're going to be able to do. All right, so the first thing you do is you scout out a numerator denominator and see if you could reduce. Like here, I could see these two. I could reduce right away. I could divide both of these numbers by 3. Okay, so if I take 12, divide it by 3, get 4. Get 63 divided by 3 would be 21. All right, let's see. Uh, hey, I can notice here that the 21's numerator and denominator are going to cancel. So you divide that by 21. I could divide that by 21. So 21 divided by 21 is 1. 21 divided by 21 is 1. All right. Uh, okay, I noticed that these two, I could divide both of those numbers by 2. So 48 divided by 2 is 24. Oops, I'm going to keep that white. So that's... Let's see, divide that by 2, that is, I get 24. 4 divided by 2, that's 2. So I divided both of those numbers by 2, and those I've got. All right, now let's see, can I do one more? Yep, it looks like I could even reduce those by, I could divide them by 2 again. I could divide that by 2, I could divide that by 2. All right, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. 24 divided by 2 is 12. All right, so I think we're done reducing. So you do, you multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 12 is 12. And that's the answer for that problem. So multiplying fractions is real simple. Find a common factor in a numerator denominator and divide it. And then once you're done finding all common factors in that regard, Multiply across, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our interactive quizzes, our lessons, and our instructional videos. Take care.